I'm known as Alex, and my life took a pivotal turn when I was just 12 years old. The loss of my mother at such a tender age left a wound that never quite healed. Her absence left an emptiness in my heart that couldn't be replaced. Our once lively and cheerful home was now filled with silence and memories of her laughter. My father's sorrow was evident, he withdrew from the world, consumed by his grief. It was as if a shadow had descended upon our household, casting even the brightest days in shades of gray. I did my best to move forward, to make sense of this new reality, but there remained a void that nothing could fill. Over time, my father's sorrows seemed to transform into a melancholic acceptance. He threw himself into his work, using it as a way to cope with the loss that had defined our lives. And then, unexpectedly, a glimmer of hope entered our lives. A decade after my mother's passing, my father found love once more. His heart, which had been closed off for so long, found a way to open up again. He met Emily, a woman two years my senior, and everything changed. My father was prosperous, and his wealth was evident in the comfort and opulence that surrounded us. Emily appeared drawn to that lifestyle, and they quickly became inseparable. The first time, I met her is etched in my memory. Emily was undeniably stunning, with long auburn hair cascading down her back like a waterfall. Her eyes held a captivating blend of hazel, exuding both warmth and enigma. She exuded confidence, aware of the impact she had on others. Her smile seemed to conceal a secret known only to her. Dad, I have reservations about Emily, I voiced one evening attempting to express the concerns that had been bothering me. My father regarded me, his eyes reflecting both hope and caution. Why is that, Alex? What's troubling you? It's just, it feels like she's more interested in your wealth than anything else. I've observed how she looks at you, and it doesn't come across as genuine. My father's expression tightened, his demeanor becoming defensive. Alex, you don't understand. Emily is different. She brings me a happiness I thought I'd lost forever. I can see a future with her. I let out a sigh, a tinge of frustration coloring my tone. Dad, I'm not saying this to hurt you. I just want you to be cautious. I don't want to see you hurt again. He shook his head, resolute in his tone. You're mistaken about her, Alex. You'll see. Despite my warnings, my father was swept away by the whirlwind romance. Emily quickly became a constant presence in our lives. She accompanied my father to events, her beauty and charm capturing the attention of everyone around her. He showered her with gifts that left me both perplexed and uneasy. As the days turned into weeks, my suspicions about Emily grew stronger. I watched as she accepted my father's extravagant offerings without hesitation, my heart aching for the memory of my mother and the love that had once been the cornerstone of our family. However, Emily's true motives remained veiled, hidden behind an aura of allure and longing. As much as I wanted to shield my father, it appeared that he was blinded by love, unable to discern the shadows of doubt looming over our newfound happiness. With time, Emily's allure and charisma seemed to intensify. But beneath the surface, my unease deepened. It was clear that she had no qualms about indulging in extravagance and spending money as if it were an endless resource. After all, the money came from my father's hard work, and she reveled in the luxuries it afforded her. Christina never held a job she claimed that her purpose in life was not to work, but to bask in happiness. Her carefree attitude towards finances raised a nagging suspicion within me. How could someone who professed to love my father so deeply be so willing to squander the fruits of his labor? One day, my doubts were intensified when I noticed an unfamiliar car parked near a modest house in our neighborhood. It was a stark contrast to the opulent places Christina was accustomed to frequenting. 
curiosity got the better of me, and I decided to investigate. I parked my car at a distance, waiting to see what would unfold. The weight of the truth pressed heavily on me, and I realized I couldn't keep it from my father any longer. However, rather than immediately disclosing my discovery, I chose to confront Emily first. I needed to hear her perspective, to understand her motives, and to give her the opportunity to come clean. It was a tense decision, and my heart raced as I approached our home's entrance to find her. As the door swung open, I met Emily's surprised gaze, her facade momentarily faltering. Can we talk? I inquired, my voice steady despite the turmoil within me. She hesitated briefly, emotions flickering in her eyes. Of course, Alex. Let's talk. I motioned for her to step outside, away from potential eavesdropping within the house. Once at a safe distance, I mustered the courage to speak. I'm aware of the other man, Emily. Her complexion paled, her veneer of confidence wavering. What are you talking about? I saw you with him at that house. I replied, my tone unwavering. She sighed, shoulders slumping. Look, Alex, things are more complex than they seem. Can we discuss this tonight? I promise to explain everything. Reluctantly, I agreed. All right, tonight then. As she walked away, a nagging suspicion persisted that she might be manipulating the situation. Taking matters into my own hands, I decided to ensure our conversation was accurately documented by setting up a discreet camera in my room. It was an unsettling yet necessary decision. As evening approached, anticipation pulsed within me. I understood that my conversation with Emily could alter everything. The camera was prepared ready to capture every word. I observed the sun sinking beneath the horizon, casting elongated shadows across the room. A knock on my door announced Emily's arrival. I took a deep breath and welcomed her in. Her expression held a mixture of uncertainty and something I couldn't quite pinpoint. The room was charged with tension, silence hanging heavily as we both took our seats. Tell me, Emily, I stated, my voice steady. Tell me the truth. She sighed, her gaze falling to her hands in her lap. Alex, I never intended for things to become so complicated. When I met your father, I was genuinely drawn to him. However, over time, I realized he could provide me with everything I desired, luxury, comfort. I didn't want to return to a life without those things. A blend of anger and sorrow stirred within me as I listened to her confession. So, you used him for his money? You don't understand, Alex. You don't comprehend anything. She began to speak. Her voice heightened my unease, stirring a mix of fear. I tried to interrupt her, but she persisted. Her hand rested gently on my leg. I made another attempt to interject by asking her to wait. My voice trembled. She sensed my apprehension and assumed control. She queried, Have you ever been in a close relationship before? I remained silent, opting not to respond, but she was correct. I had never been in a relationship. She continued, Don't worry, I know everything. She extinguished the lights and removed her dress in the darkness. We began what I can only refer to as an intimate encounter. You likely understand what I'm alluding to. It was an intense experience, and my bed felt like nothing I had encountered before. In the morning, exhausted, she whispered, If you keep quiet, I'll return to you. Throughout the next day, doubt gnawed at me. I realized that if I didn't tell my father, I would be betraying him. Yet. If I did inform him, I was uncertain of his potential reaction. Thirdly, I yearned to relive that night. I made a decision and confided in my father. Initially, he dismissed my claims. However, when I presented him with the video evidence, his pride was wounded. Dad, I'm sorry, 
I couldn't restrain myself. My father responded, Alex, it's not your fault. I couldn't either. She possesses a bewitching power of seduction. Our relationship won't crumble due to a deceitful woman. On that very day, he expelled Emily from our lives. Yet, the story took an unexpected turn. A month later, she contacted me, announcing her pregnancy. I informed my father, and he reassured me, don't fret, she's likely attempting to manipulate us for money. However, eight months later, she gave birth to a daughter, and a DNA test confirmed my paternity. Since then, our relationship has been strained, revolving primarily around providing child support. That's how I unexpectedly became a father one fateful night.